Okay, so putting thumbnails, putting jerseys back on the thumbnails of these videos has like opened up a whole new avenue of like my nerdiness because today, for example, I looked up a jersey prior to the video and as long as I can find a good enough image, the picture, the jersey on the thumbnail is Dave Cowens, former Boston Celtic, kind of a forgotten legend because it's like not Bill Russell or Larry Bird, you know. And then of course, I'm like, you know what? Let me do a quick Google search of uh, Dave Cowens. Let me check out his basketball reference page, right? And you know what? Let me just show you on my uh, computer screen that I'll record it right here. So Dave Cowens, I knew in the back of my mind, I'm like, all right, he's a hall of famer. And I remember he won an MVP award. Now turns out he won the MVP in 1972, 73. It was his third season in the NBA. And when I looked, I was like, yo, Dave Cowens averaged 21.16 rebounds. That doesn't seem that crazy for the seventies. And that was backed up when I looked, yo, look at this. This is 1973 in the NBA. Nate Archibald led the league with 34 points a game, way more than Kareem in second, also led the league in assists by a healthy margin. So I was like, that seems crazy. But Tiny Archibald's uh, Kansas City Kings, the original Sacramento Kings, they missed the playoffs. So I'm like, okay, fair. But Kareem averaged 10 more points a game than Dave Cowens. He also averaged the exact same amount of rebounds, 30 and 16 for young Kareem. As well, the Bucks had the best record tied for in the uh, then Western Conference, the second best record in the league. And Kareem didn't win MVP, Dave Cowens did. I mean, respect to a legend, but that seems kind of crazy to me. Anyways, no part of that has to do with spin to win episode 18 other than the thumbnail so welcome back but let's get into this video shall we <laughs> and the best place to start is updating any of you who may have missed it that we are 4-0 on our spin to win board it's been a very good season we've avoided any real comp matchups and we're gonna keep that ball rolling today hopefully new this season of course is our challenge board with Yao Ming specific challenges and Jimmy Butler but for the second video in a row I did come up short with trying to get points with Jimmy Butler I missed everything with Yao I know there's some debate in the comment section about whether I should have just gone ahead and counted some of those for bonus upgrades, but I'm saying right now we are not doing that. All right. I, I came up short end of discussion. Our lineup, however, continues to look pretty good. And yo, this Amethyst Jimmy is actually pretty solid. Yao Ming's been carrying us and we've got two upgrades coming. I did win the game and I completed my challenge last video to shoot 60% from three. And our two spins were that the comment section gets to choose one diamond card and one Amethyst card. So let's see what y'all said. Hey, Jay, just a suggestion. But if you put Jimmy off the bench, then you could focus on the separate challenges individually. Oh my word, dude, that is so smart. Cause I get carried away trying to get points with Yao and with Jimmy. Just separate them. Thank you. That's so obvious. Oh, big comment from Ashmail. I know you're loving Porzingis. Try uh, Amethyst Porzingis, maybe Tony Kukoc. Regarding rage quits, when they rage early, it takes away a bunch of potential upgrades. I get that. He's suggesting a compromise. I'm not going to read it all. I think it's just for this season, we're going to go with it. No bonus spins for rage quits. Maybe for next season, we'll revisit that. But hey, man, if somebody quits and I don't get challenges, that's part of the challenge. And this is our upgrade. This is the final say on it from my boy Cayenne. For Diamond, I would choose Diamond Penny Hardaway. And for Amethyst, Boris Diaw, they get a dynamic duo boost. Oh my word. This man just simply galaxy brained it. 144 likes. Let me make it 145. And yeah, this one was pretty easy after I read that. Because adding a dynamic duo, it fits perfectly a Diamond and Amethyst. And they both get boosted. The one thing is, I'm going to have to see how they fit in my lineup. Because I've got four cards right now that are point guard eligible. So I'd love to replace like Boyan and Jonathan Isaac, but OJ Mayo can't play the three, neither can Lou Will or Dante DiVincenzo. So it's not going to work. I'm going to have to get rid of one of my guards to make that upgrade. And honestly, I hate to say it, but Lou Will at 6'1", he did play pretty good for me last game. I'll say that, but Dante DiVincenzo as a Ruby 6 foot 4 Dante fits so well in the lineup as a spot up three and D type of player. Oh my goodness. You guys are going to roast me for this, but I think it has to be done. Lou Will and Boyan Bogdanovich are out. Thank you for serving our team for one or two games, Lou Will. It was helpful, but I needed to make space to add my boy Penny, a diamond upgrade who becomes pink diamond six foot seven. So good. And he has a 99 three after the dynamic duo boost and the one I bought has a shoe on it. I don't love Penny's uh, animations as much as some people, I'll be honest, but I can't argue. This is a great card. And the other half of that, Boris Dio, I do love his animations. He's always a great pickup, gets a 93 
three-point shot. He can handle the ball as a big and uh, yeah, he's got one Hall of Fame badge, maybe more after the boost. I always forget how that works. Now, this does mean we still have Jonathan Isaac and Kristaps Porzingis, but to be honest, Kristaps plays way better than an Emerald, so I'm cool with that. Our backcourt is loaded. I am going to adjust the lineup here, though. I, I just got to think, do I want to run Penny and Jeremy Lin together? Um, No, I do not. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Penny and Boris go to the starting lineup because they're just that good. I'll run my offense through Yao still, but Penny will be the facilitator. That starting lineup looks really loaded. Jeremy Lin gets demoted to the bench, but now our bench is really balanced and I can focus more on Jimmy getting his scoring challenges done. Okay, I love it, dude. Now we are a 91 overall. Great upgrades. Thank you for the suggestions. Even though I failed on the Jimmy and Yao challenges last video, I actually completed our official challenge. So we'll see what happens in this gameplay. But in addition to winning, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> okay, this is like a, a different kind of challenge. Now I need to do some research. Okay. Oh, rip, rip. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. I have to take out the highest drafted player from my lineup. That was suggested a long time ago. I've never landed on it. And uh, yeah, Yao Ming, for first overall pick. What in the world? Okay, Penny was drafted third, Kristaps fourth. This challenge, if I want to accept it, I have to take Yao out of my lineup, but that is going to like potentially crazy our team, but you know what? I gotta do it. I gotta try it. And this is, uh, hold on. Okay. Yao comes out, which means I can play Josh Smith at center. Then I can move Jonathan Isaac into the starting lineup. Kristoff's off, uh, Kristoff's off the bench. I'm going to have to run a nine man rotation without Yao. This is a ridiculous challenge. I completed immediately for going into the game without him, but how am I supposed to win without him? Oh no. Wait, one last thing. Actually, I'm going to bring Jimmy now into the starting lineup because uh, I have no Yao to focus on so Jimmy hopefully can backpack. This is like 2015 in the finals when the Cavs uh, lost Kyrie Irving. They already didn't have Kevin Love. My team is decimated and LeBron did lead them to two wins at least. And my opponent has Jeremy Lin. He's got the dentist, Kawhi, Pascal. Oh, he's played a lot of clutch time. I could have just chosen not to do this challenge, but what fun would that be? Okay, no Yao. I've got a nine man rotation. Uh, let's just try and win, baby. And first, Poe, David, yo. Josh Smith is a really good defensive card, but he's much better, I think, running the power forward with Yao next to him. <laughs> like, this is going to be, oh, Penny with the ankle breaker first possession. Yeah, that is a, that's a good upgrade right there. Oh, and he's full court pressing, of course. Just why not make this game even more of a headache than it needs to be? Jimmy, I'm shooting a three with... That was such a lame friggin' easy bait. Ah, okay, okay. That was my bad. Ah, playing against a press is so freaking annoying. I gotta, I just gotta be careful, but I already know he's gonna get a bunch of dumb steals that are partially my laziness and partially just the cheesiness, but uh, good job. Dante DiVincenzo slicing in. I'm getting absolutely destroyed. It's his defense, it's his offense, it's his freaking everything right now that's killing me, Kate Boris. Wide open. Nope. That's not wide. Oh, 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 he's getting contests on everything. Good block by Penny. That's uh, that's the advantage of Penny. Okay, I'm running the floor. Being smart. Wide open shot. Boris didn't green it, but okay. There, there we go. I'm on the board. I see Boris sneaking down court. There we go. That's going to be a wide open Perfect. three. Josh Smith. All right. I'm not going to get flooded. Maybe I lose this game, but I'm going to go down fighting at the very least. Come on, man. I got some of the bench in here now. Uh, not all of it because I only have a nine, man. Good finish, John Isaac. Come on. I just, I got to keep this thing tight and who knows what'll happen. Although Loki, I'm not sure how much Yao would help me in this matchup. Like, obviously I want to have better cards, but look at this off ball. He's just sitting in the off ball, waiting for me to make a mistake. Finally, Jimmy's on the board with a basket. Dude, he's just running one pick and roll and getting by me every time. No, that's gosh. Oh, why? Okay. I, I mean, I guess I got to run a full court press. I look like an idiot not running a cheesy press against him, right? Like it just gifts people some steals. That's crazy. And he knows, he knows what he's doing. Dribbling the ball, obviously, man, I'm losing this game. I, <laughs> I don't, I don't want to get super frustrated because I know I'm losing this game. Like it, it's an absolute guarantee at this point, but, oh, this is going to be hard to finish. It's going to be hard to finish this. I I honestly just want to quit. Like there's there's no point. There's no point in me playing this game. If anything, I should stay in this game just to learn how to be better at the game. But oh my goodness, he's really he's really really good. He is really really good. Like how he just does that one freaking move. I'm gonna quit this game. I'm gonna quit it because he's gonna keep doing the same thing, and I don't know how to stop it. And that's gonna make me lose my composure here. 
good shot OJ Mayo. Like I can green shots when I'm open. It's just, when am I ever going to be open in this game? It's, it's not really happening. It's the one move. It's the one move. What? Uh, he like he passed out of that one. But watch, it's just one step back, and that's it. Unless I just switch the pick and roll, I think that's all I can. That's all I can freaking do. Like, come on, fit miss, miss. Okay, I guess I'll try not to quit this game. Um, I'm down fifty. I feel like I'm slowly starting to uh to figure out a strategy here. But Perfect. I don't. It might be too little, too late already. I have no clue if I can go on a run here. Thank you. Okay, Boris. That's kind of a big time shot. Yeah, Kristaps. Yeah. Emerald Kristaps. Always going to do good things for me. Oh, I missed the bump steal. Like what? I'm there for a bump steal, which he's gotten 20 times on me, man. Yeah. I can't really score on this dude in the half court. I can't stop him when he gets the ball ever. This is, this is tough. Boris Diao kind of doing work though. He's got 12 points now. That's not bad. Boris Diao again in transition. Ah, oh, man, I'm figuring some stuff out. I'm greening shots. Do you see this? I'm getting open looks, but I knew it was too little too late. Like this is a 13, 13 point deficit still, even though I'm playing well. Ah, oh, man. And I can't get like, that's not a stop. Yeah, GG's. Kristaps Porzingis. Oh man, I love this Emerald Kristaps card. Oh, look at that. As we can see, I only lost the third quarter by three points. That's not bad. Honestly, I thought I'd be raging more at this point in the video. I know I'm going to take an L, but at least I got better as the game went on. This opponent is, he's very, very good. The problem is I have nothing to play for here unless you can see, why, why, oh. <laughs> oh my word. I ran out of bounds with Jimmy Butler because I thought he was at the small forward. That was embarrassing. Yeah. Any, the only thing I have left to play for is Jimmy Butler scoring 20 points magically in a fourth quarter and I brick the only wide open look with him I'm going to get. That is so tough. It's just the one move. It is that one move. That is obviously why people care about dribble style because you can absolutely just abuse it and there's like, I, I, don't, I don't know how to stop it. <laughs> I have... Why are you pulling? Oh my goodness. Okay, anyways. Yay, there's one shot with Jimmy. I still didn't green it. Five points. Yahoo. Yeah, that's such a good steal. That's such a good steal. Oh my word. I wasn't even commentating. That is a genius. Do you guys see that read? Like, I'm embarrassed he caught me with it, but not even. That's such a good read, man. Gosh, sometimes I think I'm okay with like baiting steals and stuff. This dude's at another level right now. I'm just going to be honest. Oh my goodness, wait a minute, a minute and a half. I have nine points with Jimmy. He's the, he's so far away, but it's been a good good first, fourth quarter at least. Yo, look at Jimmy fighting. Now I have 13 in this game. Yeah, I'm, I'm not close to 20, but Jimmy, oh my word. I feel like he's shown a lot of heart for me in this game. Like I respect it, brother. Okay, so this was a humbling L for me. Do you notice I'm not raging? That's because I can admit, I just played someone who is very, very good at the game. Way better than me. I turned the ball over 16 times. I couldn't get a read on his defense. And obviously I couldn't get stops. Like I, I can't even be mad at 2K, but in the first half he beat, me by 14 in the second half i was within five that's at least like a silver lining i think also a silver lining this boris d out he was really good that is a solid upgrade jimmy fought right till the end just ignore the turnovers and the field goal percentage i don't know dude the the other silver lining is i would not have won this game no chance even if i had yao like yao wouldn't have made a difference in this game so i guess w for me for completing that challenge and i also would be more mad if uh we weren't moving to to four and one like that's still pretty good if i needed to have a loss this is a better time than earlier at least another look at our challenge board i just came up short second video in a row with jimmy and obviously yao didn't play so nada once again but again the catch 22 of that game and the reason it's like not the end of the world is because i did complete the challenge by having yao out of my lineup and if i had yao in my lineup and like chose not to do the challenge i probably still would have lost so at least we get one wheel spin out of this mess and also yao ming gets reinserted back into our lineup but we do have an l wheel spin i'm scared dude and I'm actually going to start with the L wheel spin. We'll end on a positive note of spinning the W wheel. And we'll begin with the uh, potentially bad. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, well, thankfully, it doesn't hurt us in 2K, our lineup. 
Um, I am really out of shape right now. I had COVID a while ago, um, like over a month ago. I have no excuse, but I don't even know if I can do 30 pushups. That is going to be painful and it's not going to be pretty to watch, but okay. You know what? As long as you don't take away my Yao Ming or something from my lineup, I can suffer through some pushups. And trust me, it is going to be some serious suffering. Um, dang it. That's uh, okay. That's not the greatest upgrade, but I guess I didn't deserve a great up upgrade after getting absolutely destroyed. And it's only a Sapphire through Amethyst. So obviously we're going to take either Ruby or Amethyst. I do love Emerald Kristaps, but I think it's time to give him the bump or Jonathan Isaac. And our options, if I sort by rewards cards and then look at uh, Amethyst, there's some interesting options here from the seasons uh, as well. Wait, for it, uh, Ru uh, not Onyx, where's Ruby? There you go, some more interesting options, but I am gonna say that we should count any of these NBA moments of the month's card. Uh, of course, Amethyst being the best. So from the two sets for DeRozan and for Booker, I have done them both. So these count as reward cards. Uh, Mo Bamba, actually a very, yo, Mo Bamba might be the move. He could easily replace Kristaps. Um, I really love this Malik Monk card, but we don't really need another point guard. There were also these uh, push for the playoffs cards for the Tatum. I did all those. So let me know if there were any cards from there that stuck out. Thaddeus Young. Bro, I think it might be Mo Bamba, but you guys let me know. Sapphire through Amethyst. Who should we add from our reward cards? And uh, if you have any suggestions for my gameplay, I don't, I don't know. I think the only answer is don't run into that matchup again because my guy was insane. But shout out to me for not raging and crying the whole video. I just took my L. I moved on. We'll get Yao back next video. That's a W and I'll apparently have to do some push-ups. That is an L, but I will see you there. My name's Jay. Hope y'all have a great weekend. Peace.